Hello, so today the question that I'm going to be answering is, why are terrorite fights more common in humid places? Now, first of all, you may be wondering, what are territe fights? Well, territe fights are, in the broad sense of the term, vascular plants that reproduce and disperse via spores. They are referred to as cryptogams, which are plants that neither produce flowers nor seeds. Basically, they're seedless vascular plants. A great example of a territe fight would be the fern. Ferns are the most common seedless vascular plants. There are as many as 12,000 species of fern, ranging from the size of a human fingernail to the size of a large tree. Now, to answer the question, why are these pteridophytes, such as ferns, so easily common in damp and moist places? Well, simply put, it is because the moisture helps the reproductive process in many of these plants. Let me explain a little further. Take the life cycle of a fern, for example. So as you know, ferns utilize spores to reproduce, not seeds. The spores, which are found on the underside of fronds, which are the fern leaves, are tiny little black circular structures that look like this drawing here or this picture. When these spores are ready to be released, they will grow into tiny heart-shaped gametophyte haploids called the prothallus, which is pictured here. The gametophyte is not the full fern, but a plant with only half the genetic material of a fern. That's what it means to be haploid. It must first undergo sexual reproduction in order to give life to a diploid zygote or sprout. Now, this is when the moisture factor plays a key role in the life cycle of the fern, or any pteridophyte for that matter. If you look carefully at the gametophyte pictured here, it has two sets of reproductive organs. On the top is the archegonium, which contains the egg cells. And on the bottom, it is the antheridium, which contains the sperm cells. The only thing that the gametophyte now needs to complete its life cycle is a way for the sperm cells to reach the egg cells, and that is done using moisture. The sperm cells swim and reach the egg cells using the moisture present in the environment. Then they fertilize the eggs and continue the life cycle. Without the water, the sperm cells would not be able to reach egg cells and there would be no sexual reproduction, which would mean the cycle would not be able to continue and therefore the fern would not exist. That is why pteridophytes like ferns live in damp environments. I hope this helps.